Good morning! It's me, Kelly and Caitlin. Again, we're cooking with Caitlin. This is March. These are things you need to be eating now, especially if you go to church on Sundays. And even if you don't, if you're alive in an area that has a bakery with hot cross buns, and it's a, yeah, it doesn't matter like what you believe. No, or I agree. You follow no, or, no, I'm not. Because true. bread pudding is good, no matter what. Okay. Hot cross bun bread pudding. Here, truth be told, I went to we went to a Catholic school growing up, and the only yeah. reason I ever learned about hot cross buns is because I had to learn how to play hot cross buns on the recorder, Here, which was here? literally just. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you bring your recorder? We don't. And it's so good. Yes. Okay. Hot cross buns. Literally, it was just. <laughs> Do you remember that? Oh, um, okay. So that's how I learned about hot cross buns, and then I learned that they involved dried fruit and yeast and ice oh, on top. You guys yes. are just a song. Burp, burp, burp. These are much more Look interesting. How gorgeous those are. Okay, so we're lucky. We live in Wyoming, and the Wyoming pastry shop during Wyoming and Ohio. Yes, Wyoming, Ohio has these delicious hot cross buns during the Lent season, right before Easter. And essentially, they're like sweet yeast rolls that have dried fruit in them and then icing on top. Yum. I don't know the history, so I'm sorry that's about where but the that's conversation ends. Yes. But everybody is different because there's so there's it's not just raisins in this. It's there's like candy ginger and other great things. Yeah. So um, get involved, yeah, try these out. Them. And when you say get involved, try these out, do you mean me now? Sure, yeah, whatever you need to well, do. Well, do you need them all, all for the rest no, of No, 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 no. Okay, so. I'll enjoy that one. It looks like listen. you selected the best one. Okay, so <laughs> these are delicious. If you can get them while they're still truly hot in cross buns. It's a religious um, experience. Totally. But, You'll be like. Rrr, 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 rrr. But in a higher note. Okay, listen. They will go stale within a day if you don't oh. eat them. So this is a perfect recipe if you can find or have stale mm -hmm. hot cross buns. Mm -hmm. So um, what I like to do is hot cross buns from your favorite bakery. Uh, let your fingers do the walking before you go looking for them just to make sure. So I take each bun and cut it into... 27 pieces, 27 small pieces. I know that's a lot of effort. You don't need to know. Just it's all about chop it. roughly chopping it, right? Okay, so that is one step. Roughly chop your buns. Um, the next step is in a small bowl, like any religious nut, we like alcohol. So these are <laughs> raisins soaked in whiskey. And it'll help cut the sweetness of the hot cross buns. But kind of complement it because it's dry fruit again, all that good stuff. If you want to super impart whiskey flavor into the raisins, microwave them together for like a minute and then they rehydrate um, and are delicious. Can um, you please be more specific about the whiskey? Whiskey, bourbon, whatever you have on hand. Something like smoky, high in alcohol so it's not sickeningly sweet. Does that make sense? So when you go to the liquor store, <laughs> You just look for a glass bottle with a label that says in black letters. Whiskey or whiskey. Yeah. Okay, got it. It's pretty pretty easy to find nowadays. By okay. the way, you know how it's WH at the beginning? Whiskey. I always want to be like, whiskey. I'm shocked you don't. Whiskey. Why are you acting bashful all of a sudden? Okay. <laughs> so then just make your custard filling. So once you've got these are these are your assembly essentially. Okay, and then whole milk is what will maintain moisture in the bread pudding. And then heavy cream is what adds like that luscious body to it. Um, Coat your tongue. Yeah, Ooh, so good. Okay, then there's that. And keep in mind that because there's dried fruit in the hot, hot cross buns, this is all healthy. <laughs> okay, I just lied. Whatever makes you feel better. Why are you doing that instead of the hand mixer? Did you do it? Because hand mixer? it creates more uniform consistency. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so okay. for people who don't have immersion blenders, like me, just a, a blender, a food processor, as long as you don't exceed the liquid point. But you can always whisk it by hand with a fork or whatever. Just um, greased mold. You can do, so we're just, just free ball. Here we go. Look at us go. Oh, we're free ball. Oh, wow. I don't know. Um, so a greased, I don't know, think free about styling. That. Free styling. We are not free balling. Speak for yourself, Caitlin. 
<laughs> okay, just concentrate. Oh my god. The, you can do like a big thing and then everybody gets a square, or you can do these individual molds. The individual mold means that you personally will get to eat more. So, um, so if you do it like a square, you just, I mean, you just oh, yeah. put it like in a brownie pan and cut it up like. Right, so then, so you do a layer of the bread and then a layer of the whiskey soaked raisins, a layer of bread, more raisins. Delightful. De -de -de and then you. When you say de -de -de do, do you really mean. Burr, 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 burr. Yes. Okay. In a better contraption than what I am using, pour your custard filling over the bowl. Oh. Like this. What? Are you sad? You're just a wreck. No. Okay. So look at. So then you want to push it when down. When you say look at, I feel like you're going to need to pull it up here. Okay. I know, but my hands are all custardy. It. Okay, so I pull it down a little. Or yeah, no? so I will pour the egg mixture in, and if there's more egg than bread, then it appears. And then cube up another bun and put do another layer of raisins and all of that good stuff and soak it in. But let this sit for ten minutes before popping it into the oven, and just to make sure that the bread sops up all of the custardy filling, and that will create a delicious bread pudding. Um, so so then I bake it in the oven. I like to do four hundred degrees. For, it's only it will only take like 15 minutes. Wait, yeah. this is a finished one. Can you show the finished one before you? I'm having a lot. Use of your manners. Um, then it gets golden GBD, golden brown and delicious, crusty, and it puffs up. So if you can serve it while there's still hot cross buns again, um, perfect. And then in here I just did homemade cream cheese frosting to complement the cross buns, and just do de 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 dun dun dun. dun, dun, dun. That's Delicious, delightful. Yes, so we've given you Gelatin. ample amount. Yeah, we've given you plenty of time. <laughs> Easter is still a couple weeks away. You've got time to practice this. Yes. Enjoy this on your own. Yeah, play with it, have fun, enjoy it, and get involved with hot cross. Wow, problems. there's so many steps. Well, you know, so many steps. It all involves bread. Yes. Okay, Bye. Thank, thank you, you. guys.